Okay, so a couple things. So if I'm gonna drop my weight, I'm not the heaviest guy in the room, so I like it to be low. So I always put it down as low as it, it can be. You'll see some people that will go like, um, almost like lateral femoral condyle. And having some parameters so that I'm consistent in my setup will ensure that if something is amiss or does go well, I can rest assured that there's controlled variables. So I'm gonna put two fists down on the edge of the table. And I'm gonna ha have Cam go ahead and scooch up just to the point where he can, uh, is about that distance away. Okay, I'm gonna flex his bottom leg up and I'm gonna ha ask him to kick his bottom leg out straight. So a couple things, watch what happens when I let go. That's, that's not okay. He needs to be more balanced. So Cam, I'm gonna ask you to shimmy this leg, this hip towards me, boom. And usually giving them contact on both sides helps. Otherwise, sometimes patients will just like rotate or just move themselves closer to you, which you don't want. If I let him go, he still rotates. Cam, you need to do a better job. Sorry. <laughs> so you need to be like that. Yeah. Uh, so that's that's better, right? I can take my hands off and he actually stays. Couple of key things here. I like to lock in the foot. I also make this is key. So when he rotates, there's clearance. Otherwise, when he rotates, it's just going to be blocked by the table. I intentionally put him into a little bit of uh, hip flexion as well, so that this leg is is coming forward. Uh, can you, if you can appreciate that, his this bottom leg is not quite into an extended position. It's flexed. So he already told us that he's mobile. So we may need a towel, or, or we may, may need to leverage the table up. If you take this uh, this arm cam and then again, so I'm gonna because he's more mobile, I'm gonna add a little bit more flexion. I'm not gonna. Uh, I may be uh, tempted to add more rotation because he has the mobility, but that's gonna reduce what is gonna be my primary force. So I'm gonna just go ahead and uh, go ahead and flex down, and I am gonna pull him through. It can be a little bit uncomfortable on the scapula, so you always just gotta check with them to make sure that that's okay. Are we okay there, Cam? Yeah, great. And then I call it the supermodel pose, so I'm just gonna go hand there. I'm gonna bring that there, and he's set up. I take a moment just to look. Can't keep him there for too long. They won't thank you for that. But I'm just gonna add a little bit more flexion. The tipping point. So if I come over and I just give him a little bit of nudge, perfect. He rocks, he doesn't lose balance one way or the other. So that means that he's in a good balanced position. Not on glenohumeral joint, not on boob, like right on the pec. This is key, if you come around, my short lever applicator, so it's right here along my pisiform, okay? Here's his spinous process. Here's his multifidi mass. I'm gonna come in lateral, right over the transverse facet or so, right over the articular pillar, and that's gonna be my thrust, my short lever applicator right there. If I'm on the spinous process, I'm not gonna get a rotor rotary torque in my short lever applicator. My long lever applicator is gonna be his thigh not what we saw where you get the osteopractic pull where you're here. So it's gonna be like this, and I'm gonna be dropping my weight using the leverage of essentially this is my, my contact point. When we go ASIS, and when our ASIS kiss, I drop. I'm gonna try my very best to dissociate his shoulders from his hips. So I'm gonna block the rotation here as I thrust his pelvis down towards the floor. It's usually when his pelvis reaches 45 degrees is really, and that's where my our ASI should kiss and I'll drop like that, okay? It's, uh, you need to have higher forces. I need to provide 100 pounds of force or so. Can't be doing all right? Mm -hmm. All right, thanks for putting up with me. 
So big breath in, big breath out. As you I rotate him towards, then I come here, make sure I'm there, and then I drop. Other side. 